Hey guys, and welcome back to yes, another Pokemon X and Y leaked video, so, spoiler alert, please leave now if you are not, sort of, up for this, I guess, um, but yeah, in this video I'm going to talk about the other, sort of, evolution or evolutions of pre-evolutions we've seen around, um, of Pokemon we've already seen, because I haven't really, um, been up to date on all the leaks so far, but, um, there's also some new ones and some old ones I need to cover. Starting off with here with Esper, the, uh, pre-evolution for your Meow Stick, it's the restraining Pokemon, pure psychic type. The organ that emits its intense psychic power is sheltered by its ears to keep power from leaking out. So there are, Esper is the pre-evolution for Meowstic. I guess there's no sort of difference between male and female at this point, but maybe later on, obviously but later on in when they evolve, that's when they gain the gender differences, but they could have gender differences now, but to me that looks like a, both a male and a female Pokemon. So yeah. And also this is the Pokemon we saw in the the trailer that was like right at the edge so yeah that's the pokemon we saw then and we were right all along pretty much or we thought it was a new pokemon and it was next up we have fletchinda which is a evolution for fletchling and a pre-evolution for talonflame yeah fletchling to talonflame did seem like a big jump so that's why fletchinda is there in the center i like the design on fletchinda quite a lot it's a fire flying type and uh from this pokedex in entry that's look this looks very terrible um it says the hotter the flame sack on its belly the faster it can fly but it takes some time to get the fire going so there's Fletchinda, um, obviously the step, the jump from Fletchling to Talonflame did seem a bit big to start off with, so that's generally why, you know, Fletchinda is there. I, I like the design, I don't know what you guys think, do you like a uh, sort of design on Fletchinda, do you think it's cool, do you think it's not cool, etc. Next up we have uh, a change to Vivillon, which is uh, the fact that it has two patterns, we have a polar pattern, and what I'm going to call the normal pattern, because we don't have any name for it yet, it this could be a male or female change, because uh, it makes sense, because males would then get sort of dark blue and the females would get a pink. But uh, we can't be sure of that. It could be due to do with area around the, um, you know, area around the Kalos region, or it could be to do, to do with night and day. You know, that could be its night form. So it changes during the, you know, stuff like that. Um, what do you think of these new form? All this new form for Vilong, the Vilong guys. Do you like the idea of it, or do you think it should have just stayed as one form sort of thing? Let me know in the comments below. Next up we have a supposed evolution for uh, um, Bunnelby, I don't know if this one is real or not, I'm guessing it is because you know most of the leaks are real now, uh, and this is called Diggersby, it is a huge bunny and it has fists coming out of its ears, yeah I know it looks really strange, um, its ears seem to have grown quite a lot and they have fists on the end, so it's obviously going to use them to dig with, um, and it just seems to be a chubby bunny really, um, with you know, that's generally what it is, what do you think of this design guys? I'm not a huge fan of it, you might be, but I'm not necessarily a huge fan, so yeah, just let me know what you think in the comments below, and I shall read through them all and see what you guys think. Next up we have an evolution for Helioptile, which is Heliolisk, it's also an electric normal type, has the ability Sand Veil, which is quite strange because it's an electric type, and you can see here it knows the moves Parabolic Charge, Charge, Razor Wind, and Quick Attack. I quite like this design because the thrill around its neck can actually come up and film as it like be a star, or at least it could be when it evolves again. I'm not sure if it actually does it during battle because we haven't seen any video. But you can see it has a high speed stat as well and a high special attack stat. So this is going to be a very, you know, a generally uh, electric, fast electric based Pokemon. And then the next update for evolution we have is the evolution of Gumi to Sligu. They are seen on screen now. I love this Pokemon. It's got such an awesome design. Little snail shell thing on its back as well. And you can see a shot from the Pokedex here, which is also the, it's also the soft tissue Pokemon. A dragon type still as well, um, and it has four horns, which are a high performance radar system, and it uses them to sense sounds and smells rather than using an ear or a nose. I think it looks awesome, it looks very cute, it looks different, which I like. And here's a shot from its sort of status screen, it knows dragon breath, rain dance, muddy water, and body slam, so it could hint that it um, evolves into a, a dragon water type. However, I have seen some sort of uh, rumours around that possibly a Pokemon evolves when levelled up in the rain, so possibly it's a Slugu, since it does no hydration and some water type moves, but who knows. It has very high special defence that, as you can see. Next up for the evolution we have Barbaracle, its name is. It's the collective Pokemon, a rock water type, and evolves from Binacle. Um, you can see its design there, it kind of has uh, four arms and then two legs and the Pokedex tells us that its legs and hands have minds of their own and they will move independently but they usually follow the head's orders. So technically it has like seven minds which is really quite strange but I do like the design, it's not too bad in my opinion. We see a shot here from the 
the status screen of its you know general stuff. It knows clamp, rock polish, fury cutter, and slash, and has the ability tough claws similar to Mega Charizard X, which powers up moves that make direct contact. So guys, I believe that's it for the, all the evolution and pre-evolution news to come out so far. No real news apart from stuff I've already covered in other videos. So guys, uh, thank you for watching this video. Please leave your thoughts on all the new Pokemon I've shown and also, you know, some other stuff I've just mentioned. And uh, yeah, leave a like on this video. It really helps me out and just drives me to make more videos. And uh, you can also subscribe to me for more X and Y leak videos and just general videos when the rest of when the games actually come out. So guys, thank you for watching. I'll be seeing you all next time. Goodbye, my friends.